This is Borderlands, premature evaluation. I've been putting a good amount of time into it. Let's see how much time I've put into it. I have put 17 hours into the game in the last couple days. That's quite a bit of time. Today's yeah. what, Thursday? Mm-hmm. Thursday evening. So, yeah, I've been playing the hell out of this game, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, big thumbs up from me. I'm absolutely loving it. Right now, I'm playing on the PC. Uh, I played a whole bunch of it on the Xbox 360 as well. The PC looks a lot better. But you have a nice holders. PC. I have a great PC. And I have a top-of-the-line Xbox. I have quite a few top-of-the-line Xboxes. Yeah, but all the Xboxes put together still cost less than the <laughs> PC. That is true. You could buy nine Xboxes, Xboxes for the price of this PC. How much is an Xbox? <clears throat> $200 or 300 Wow. Okay. Uh, so, Borderlands 2, if you're not familiar with it, uh, it's a first-person shooter RPG. So it's got a ton of... And it's got like tons and tons of guns and loot and leveling up and uh, it's also an amazing co-op game. I, mm, I'd be a little bit more ambivalent about buying this if I hadn't been playing co-op. Mm -hmm. Co-op adds a lot to the game, but it is super fun. Uh, so I think... And for uh, those who didn't know, this is <clears throat> actually a sequel to a game called Borderlands. Yes, indeed. You wouldn't know it just yeah. from listening to the title, Borderlands 2. But the two actually refers to the fact that it's a sequel. Unlike Sniper V2. Right. Which was actually the first Sniper yeah, V2 Sniper game. Sniper Elite. Sniper Elite V2, that's what it was, yeah. So, um, some of the other premature evaluations we've done, a little bit shorter, a little bit more concise, but I thought we'd kind of uh, make this one a little bit longer, to show a little bit more of the game, because it's quite a bit bigger than a lot of the iPhone games that we've been making these videos for. The, with the five minutes of the uh, Mario... <laughs> Dude, we should have played that for hours. We should have made that a full-length drink-along. Alright, so what kind of quest should I do? I don't want to do a story mission. Swallowed Hole. Swallowed Hole. Okay. Or the Cold Shoulder. <clears throat> I like both of those names. Uh, well, they're both in the same area. We can do them both. Ooh, this one gets a, a good bonus. Let's do that one. So, there's tons of side quests... Um, like any these, good RPG. Do these side quests just pop up, or do you have to talk to people? So you see the mini-map, or this map? Yeah. Like, all the exclamation points are people that are offering me side quests. So I've been skipping... Well, I, I've done quite a few of the side quests, but I, I felt like the story wasn't going anywhere, so I skipped a whole bunch of them mm -hmm. recently, and because I just wanted to get the story moving along, um, get some more higher-level upgrades and stuff. And I was, you know, like, when you're playing Oblivion or something like that, if you just keep doing side quests, you can kind of lose steam on the game. Mm -hmm. You kind of get frustrated with it. Uh, so where am I going? Uh, so right now I'm playing as uh, Zero, which is like the sniper class. Definitely my favorite class. The co-op is really easy. It's drop in, drop out. Um, let's take a look at it. I can just invite anybody on my friends list to join at any time. Um, they can... It doesn't scale particularly great, so if like so I'm level 21, if someone level 8 joined my game, they would not hold up very well against a lot of these enemies. Mm -hmm. uh, so the sniper class, uh, there's four different classes you can choose from. The sniper class is uh, like the ranged guy, the damage dealer. There's one class that's uh, designed specifically, that, that is like great for co-op, it's called the siren. In, whoa, that was glitch drink um she can like heal teammates by shooting them and she's got a and she's got like this um stasis move basically kind of crowd control from whoa shit. i have a question about the difficulty scaling okay so if you bring people into your game do the enemies get more difficult yes the difficulty gets or the enemies are stronger the more people so even if you bring in a weak person the enemies are going to be strong yep and you get better loot Okay. So it really encourages you. And co-op's a lot of fun. Like, if you have people to play co-op with, definitely do that. I would, honestly though, like the shitty thing about co-op is that you end up, oh, asshole, is that you end up missing a lot of the really good comedy in the game. Mm -hmm. I heard I, you laughing out loud. Right. And usually when I hear you laughing when you're playing a video game, yeah. it means you're listening to a comedy podcast. Yeah, but I was actually listening to this game. Uh, I... I would recommend playing this game on co-op, but not using voice chat, mm. just so that you can really pay attention to what's being said and like hear the stuff, or like you know coordinate and say with people like, okay, when there's story shit going on, shut your fucking trap, or like <laughs> have like a quick mute. Shut your clap trap. 
Shut your clap trap, yep. Whoa! Okay, so this game also has a great uh, last stand mode. Woo! So, I lost all my health, and then if you get a kill while you're in last stand, you get a second win. And you just shot a bird? I just no-scoped a bird <laughs> with my sniper rifle. I couldn't do that with an Xbox controller. No. So that's the thing. I, I play, When I was playing on the Xbox, I was playing as fine girly magazines, collect flowers for... Um, um, this is a good question. Magazine day. Nudie magazine day. Nudie magazine day. Let's fucking take out these badass racks. Oh, that's like a boss. That's no good. It's gonna be tough. So if it says badass in front of their name, that's like a stronger version of the normal ones. So even though I'm playing as a zero, uh, I can choose any weapon that I want. It's not like I'm forced to use a sniper. Just a lot of my skills are uh, based off of. Uh, Give sniper damage bonuses specifically, and um, yeah. And Are you I'm happy with your choice. Yeah, I well, I, I play the sniper in every game that I play. Yeah, but in Mass Effect, you regretted it. Oh, that is true. Ooh, blue item. You became the like the magic guy. Yeah, I. Yeah. Well, the in Mass Effect, person. yeah, the one like because you could do those crazy combos. Because oh. Mass Effect. So um, every class, class has one special ability. Uh, for the zero, mine is like a cloak ability, and uh, while I'm cloaked, whoops, it's like a clone cloak, I guess. So, so these enemies, they see something else. They they uh, oh no, like so these rats, they like steal the gold that's on the ground. So you have to kill them quickly. So uh, oh, that's kind of cool, huh? So then can you go pull the? Th you have to kill him, and then you can. Oh, actually, I don't know. Let's see if I can while I'm cloaked. I've never tried it. Play. Oh my god, that's cool. Drop a grenade. Drop a grenade. Triple seven. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I keep losing track of what I'm saying. So um, when uh, the bandit, they uh, or the zero. They can, you know, they, they create a clone that kind of distracts them. And then, uh, like while I'm clone, or cloaked, the longer I wait to get my shot off, my one shot off. You get one shot? You get one shot while you're cloaked and then you uncloak. So it's really designed for snipers, you know? Or yeah. like a rocket launcher. Um, <clears throat> I do bonus damage, like a huge amount of bonus damage. So what did I, what did I win? Assassin skin customization. Oh, I already have that one anyway. Okay. That was funny though. Yeah, I didn't realize I could actually like do that off his back. That was cool. So gambling's fun. Gambling is super fun in this game. In the um, in the taverns and stuff. Oh my god. That was I ran out of ammo. Something from you, I think. Yeah, I think he's <laughs> taking ammo from me. That's annoying. <laughs> hey, a lot of ammo. You little bastard. <laughs> Whoa! Shit, I'm getting poisoned. So I never found the flowers or the nudie magazine. Let's go back and look. Oh, maybe that's it. The little blue thing right there. There we go. Girly magazine. Oh, I should have zoomed in on it and looked. Uh, Are they all in this area? Uh, do you see the mini-map? It's got the oh, little circles. Yeah. Um, girly magazines. I still haven't found any flowers to collect. There's another magazine. Where do you see it? I mean, there's only two of three. Oh, yeah, there's another area. Another big area. Oh. So they're not all necessarily in this, but I didn't... You'd think one of the flowers Yeah, was... you'd think at least one of them would be there. Let's look around a little bit more. Hmm. So what is this game like? So this game, um, it's like, to me, it's Oblivion with good combat. Okay. Um, and not so serious, because Oblivion takes itself pretty seriously, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, there's not a lot of humor in it. You this gotta game, save the world or whatever. Yeah, this game is really funny. Oh, and you can still play it. So, like, some mini-bosses, they'll carry gambling machines, or uh, slot machines. Right on their back. Some of them will have like a big treasure chest on their back and you have to, well maybe you don't have to kill them. Hey! Iridium. I'm doing really well on the slot machine. Better keep pushing my luck, right? 
Yeah, that's what they say to do. <laughs> Push your luck? Yeah. Oh. When you're up, bet it all. <laughs> <laughs> if I could bet it all and it wasn't a fixed bet, I would. Um, so, I mean, it's it's not as open world as, like, Skyrim or Oblivion. I said Oblivion, didn't I? That's dumb. Um, yeah, no one knows what that is. Well, it's not the new one, you know? Uh, <laughs> it's the same fucking yeah. game. It's not as, like, it's not, like, one huge map. Like, there's a lot of fast traveling you have to do and kind of, like, loading new areas. But I like this a lot more than I like Skyrim because the combat's fun as hell. It's a shooter. It's not a shitty melee combat thing. And the story is funnier. And there's great voice acting. Or a sneak and then shoot him in the yeah. head with an arrow. Yeah. Um, and it's it's got a lot of the same RPG elements that you... that. Skyrim has like tons of loot, leveling up, skill trees, enemy variation, a huge, a ton of enemies. The enemies are much smarter in this than they were in the previous game. In the previous one, they were pretty dumb. They just like ran right at you. In this, they they duck and roll and dodge around a lot. There's like tons of challenges and shit to keep you really like busy throughout the game, which is oh shit. All right, let's use a rocket to revive myself. Boom. Second wind. What if you die? Uh, if you die, you go to the closest checkpoint, and it just charges you a couple hundred bucks. It's pretty low cost to death. So, it, like, it, it's not like Darksiders. Oh, shit. No, it's not like Darksiders. Damn it, Darksiders. <laughs> um, why'd you bring that up? To piss you off. So, yeah, um, it, it takes you back to the nearest checkpoint, which can be anywhere from, like, five... Is this five, money like, that you're getting? Yeah. So, um, these are... This is a very unique kind of money. Like, this is the only... There's only a couple areas that I've seen this so far. Um, like, this kind of gold oh, bars on the ground. Oh, no, no. Mo most of the time, it's... <laughs> the gold, <laughs> most of the time, man. it's just, like, dollar bills laying on the ground. God damn. Fucking birds. These, that's the most annoying enemy type. And I would not like to have to snipe those guys on the Xbox. Like non PC controller. Yeah. Alright, let's kill these guys and find some flowers. And you need another nudie magazine. Oh yeah, I do, for the bonus objective. Oh, that's the bonus objective. Yeah, that's the bonus objective. So if it has if it's blue like that and it has that little plus, mm -hmm. it's a bonus objective and you get like extra money or whatever. So you have to find you have to find the flowers. I have to find the flowers. Yeah, that's the whole mission. So let's look at the inventory and like what the systems that are that are kind of running this game. Uh, so I showed off the mission select a little bit. Like these are all pretty potentially active. Pretty standard mission. It's not the greatest interface on the PC. It's definitely designed with the console first mm -hmm. um, and there are some menus like the trade menu that I absolutely hate using on the PC mm -hmm. it's just not designed like you know it's got this little right arrow that you're supposed to click to go to the next tab like which you would do with the which you just tap right well yeah. like you know I can tap right on the keyboard but that's like moving my hand off the of WASD it's yeah, not you just want to mouse over something right like it should be designed better yeah completely different for the PC um, so, uh, at this point in the game, I can hold four weapons. Uh, at the start, you can only hold two, and eventually you can uh, get two more. Uh, there's a shield upgrade, uh, a grenade upgrade, um, a class customization thing. The one I have gives me like bonus uh, to some skills in addition to extra sniper rifle damage. But uh, it also has a trade-off, so it drops the amount that my shield can actually... Um, mm. So you're more powerful, but less, more vulnerable. Yep. And then there's one uh, relic. And this one I got, I think, for pre-ordering the game. Uh, it, inc it increases the chance that uh, Ooh. that better items drop. And there's another relic you that I have saved. Loot. I love my loot. There's another relic that increases the amount of experience that you earn. And there's other ones that, like, uh, like team bonuses. Mm -hmm. Like, it increases the whole team's ability to, um, I don't know, get critical damage or more resilient to damage or something like that. Uh, is 15 grand a lot of money? No, I gamble mm -hmm. all of my money away. The money doesn't have a lot of uses in this game, honestly. Uh, other than gambling. Like, it's so not this is a skill tree? So yeah, th this is the skill tree. There's three different skill trees for every class. 
Uh, I've been putting all my points into the sniping class. It's not the greatest. Like it makes sense, but I don't particularly like. I I don't think it's particularly well designed. You have to put five points in the top two rows to get to the kind next of row. Like League of Legends. Yeah, it kind of is. It's it's a lot like League of Legends. Um, <clears throat> you have to put five points in the top one in in the top two rows of one tree. Mm-hmm. to unlock the next row of potential things to do for that tree only. So I can't like I can't get the good uh Yeah, that's just like League of Legends, right? Yeah, but I and it's very easy to reset at any time if you want to like rebuild oh, it's the not character. $5? No, no. That's good. Um but I don't know. I I think they save some of the best skills for way too late in the game. Um and uh I found through the skill builder that you Definitely cannot get to the top level of two trees. You can you can get to one, and then maybe about one or two points in the middle row of another tree at, at like so the you max level. You have to choose one. Yeah, it's um, not like Skyrim where you can just keep hunting everything. Yep, it's not like that at all. Unfortunately, I wish it was. Like, if I keep using snipers, then I get more sniper points, and mm-hmm. then if I keep uh, meleeing people, then I get more bloodshed points. I, th- I think that's a much better system, and it encourages you to do different things. Do different things, yeah. But like now, all I do is snipe, mm-hmm. um, and that's it's fun, and it's what I like to do. But it would be nice if it gave me some incentive to melee and stuff as well. Uh, and then they also have these badass rank points, and there's just dozens and dozens of challenges. So like, and there's five levels of every challenge. So if I kill. Uh, 25 buzzards, I go to level 3 of killing buzzards, and then I can I get 5 badass rank points. And uh, after you fill up that bar with badass rank points, you get a badass token, and when you, you can spend that token on a permanent upgrade for your character. Mm-hmm. So th- these are kind of like, in Call of Duty, you know how you're constantly upgrading everything? It's like, level up, level up. Like, you up, you, yeah. you upgraded the silencer on this one gun. It's like, okay, yeah, it's a little over the top. <laughs> but this is actually fun because it gives you permanent upgrades. Um, and there's tons so of things. For your account, not your character. Yeah, and they actually transfer between characters. So if I want to play a different class, all the, like, I am level 1600 for the badass, which mm-hmm. is pretty cool. Um, it's a really smart system that I think is going to take away a lot of the pain of starting over from level 1 when I eventually create a second character. Mm-hmm. It's really I, I think that's really smart. Um, so like, you know, uh, open 750 chests, uh, get a ton of kills with a vehicle. Like there's just tons and tons of challenges. Get so you're, you're tons probably of kills with the doing grenades, different types without of even grenades. trying. I'm doing tons of them without even trying, but I I have started to go out of my way um, to like try to get more no scope kills because I know I'm pretty close to getting a uh, a big big reward for no scope kills with the sniper rifle. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and then I posted a video today about a really cheap way to get uh, uh, critical hits with like these critical hit challenges. Mm-hmm. And it's, it basically involves like so that enemy that I just killed like the big spider walker with the golden legs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you can only do critical damage to him. So I bought a super weak weapon and just shot the hell out of him. So every shot, it was super weak, and I could just blast at him for hours. Oh, here we go. There's a sniper. Yeah, these guys. So that was a terrible shot. It's per bullet that hits him, not the power of the bullet. Right. So every critical hit... You buy the that's, weakest pistol, and you're gonna just sit here all the, day. I went to the beginning of the game, bought the weakest submachine gun, and just shot these guys for a while, and got to the highest level of badass rank, which was a pretty significant reward uh, for the move. Oh, damn, I died. So my class, oh shit, is fairly weak. Oh, I'm gonna die. I only get to see what it's like to to die. You lay down. You lay down. You go back you. to Valhalla. <laughs> you see that weird angel animation? The you wake fridge. up in a fridge. That's the name of the area. And so, I'm back to where I started. I have to run a minute or two, but the enemies haven't respawned or anything. Oh, so that actually costs a thousand bucks. I don't know what happens when you try to respawn if you don't have money. 
actually. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. It's like being a Cylon. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. More nudie magazines, you said. Nudie magazine day! There's still one around here. There is still one around here. And there's some flowers somewhere. I still only found that At least one. we know what they look like yeah. now. They yeah. look like yucca plants. <laughs> yucca plants. Yeah. Uh, I hate yucca plants. <laughs> God, I hate They're yucca okay. Plants. I hated them. I hurt myself on them so many times when I was a kid. Yeah. Oh, I should have bought I some did ammo. I get pushed into one. Ooh, that sounds awful. But they're good looking until they're like overgrown. There we go. Yeah, well, yeah, when they get those tall buds on top of mm -hmm. them, they actually are kind of interesting looking. Here, grenade. So like any good game, I forget to use my grenades all the time. So one thing that I really like about this game, that I, I like it but it's also really frustrating at times, is, uh, come on, get the yucca, is that every gun, even within the same class, feels completely different. So I was just using that shotgun, or you saw me using that other shotgun before, right? Mm-hmm. So this shotgun does more damage, but it consumes three ammo per shot and deals explosive damage. Mm. So it's, like, completely different. And... Uh, let's see this one pretty similar so I'll, I'll just use this rocket launcher let's go back whoops did I do anything yeah this system is weird sometimes rocket launcher uh, yeah let's see this one so this one you can see the rockets and some rockets will go insanely slow now they all share the same ammo so it's not like you can swap between one rocket launcher and the next and just have like infinite ammo because you, you have a pretty sizable inventory for carrying all your junk um, and like any good RPG you have to pick up everything and sell it just to keep gambling you know yeah gotta keep that bankroll up mm -hmm. uno mas uno mas there we go missing a nudie magazine though. yeah I gotta find the last nudie magazine I was probably in that first area. Oh, I collect more food. That was another objective. God, I hate these fucking birds. But in like, especially when it comes to <laughs> shotguns and pistols. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and assault rifles. Let's use the assault rifle. The assault rifles are like crazy different between them. So like, this assault rifle, assault rifle, you can see the shots. They fire explosive rounds, right? Oh, it's a badass guy. Um, so it's really slow firing, and there's no iron sight. For, uh, like, there's a small iron sight, but no there's no first shot either. No, yeah, no first shot, no, no digital aiming kind of display thing. Where is that fucking asshole? No dad. No dad. Digital aiming display. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yes. That's that's okay. That, is that an acronym I should know? <laughs> oh, I just made that up. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Well, well isn't like the whole and so tagline of this game like, like two one point two bajillion guns. Yeah, exactly. And then like there's different manufacturers for all the different guns. So like let's do this one. So this one is it's like bullets, so they fire faster, even though it's still the assault rifle class. <gasps> Nudie magazine? Oh, pizza. Oh, the objective. <gasps> Nudie mag oh pizza. Okay. <laughs> that guy's awesome. Yeah. See, like, the voice acting is hilarious in this. I love it. it you know, like, every character is just... Nudie playing. Magazine? Where? Oh, no, it's a pizza. Oh, yeah, that's... that's. Uh, oh, I saw, like, a Moxie. chick. I just saw yeah, a chick. Yeah, she's... Uh, she's on the first one, actually. She's, like, the hot slut. Not 13-year-old? Not hot 13-year-old. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Nah, I gotta go the long way. Wait, isn't there some on the ground over there? Behind, straight behind you? This way? Behind you? Left? What are those things? Those? With the arrows coming at them. Oh, I just saw... Oh, I don't know this game. Oh. I just saw a light. Uh, the blue markers are the objectives. Oh, okay. But the blue markers are also, like, really rare weapons. So there is kind of a confusing overlap there sometimes. Oh, I just saw, like, light coming out of the ground. Mm. I'm surprised no one's joined for co-op yet. Game usually fills up pretty quick. Uh, 
So not my, as cool my, as you thought you were. God damn it, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Ooh, this was a good treasure chest. Um So like this uh assassin mod, it improves team accuracy. So mm. like, if I wanted to not be selfish, I would do that, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna pick it up and sell it. Um <laughs> so where was that thing? Here we go. And there's no fall damage, which is nice. So the one thing I re I don't like about this game that is completely fixed by uh, co-op is that there are way too many chests to loot. And if you're obsessive, like I would assume most people watching this game, it's really time-consuming and slow to open up every little chest just looking for a rare item. Now, that that last chest that I got, that's like a treasure chest. Mm -hmm. The big ones like that, they're very distinguishable from the other ones, but there's tons and tons and tons of these small ones. Anything that has a little green light on that, it'll have just like five dollars in it, or some health, mm -hmm. or a little bit of ammo. And, I don't know, I, I don't think they need to have so many, and I think the process could be a little bit faster, even though it is relatively fast, because you can just hold E and pick up everything. Uh, that's like a small item. So I, I just hold the... Oh, fuck you, buddy. Alright, fuck you. I'm gonna melee you in the back. Oh, I don't, don't want to kill these guys. Let's finish the quest. Hmm. And so like this sniper rifle, you might have noticed that it's uh, a burst fire sniper rifle. Hey, there we go. Someone just joined. Um, Can they help you find the crap? Yeah, they can. They do the objective of the host, I believe. That's I'm sweet. So you could just sit there. Yeah, but it's weird though. Uh, like how, like you all, you have to be in the same area. So you know how I fast traveled from the opening yeah. starting zone. Uh, we have to be in the same area. And if he tries to leave, it gives you like a couple second countdown to cancel it. Um, but sometimes it's kind of a pain in the ass to get everybody. Oh, here we go. Nudie magazine. Oh hell yeah, Gun Ho. Oh, that's a great name for a cunt. Heavy runt. Scrunt. Runt. <laughs> oh, and he left. Oh well. Anyway, hey, bonus objective complete. All right, so let's leave and finish the quests. Unbreakable. Oh, no, I'm not leaving. Hey, he just wants some flowers and pizza. It sounds like, uh... Schmeagle. Schmeagle, my precious! Uh-oh. Wow, good shooting there. Well, what the fuck's wrong with her? It's Schmeagle. <laughs> like this this game makes tons of references to other movies and stuff. Oh, I might die here. Uh like there's a whole mission. Oh shit. Oh, there's other assholes in this fight. Um like there's a whole mission that was a Top Gun themed mission. Which was, it, I think the mission was called Danger Zone. And like you had to uh play volleyball basically or like go like the go tom into the cruise. danger zone yeah the, there, there was a couple uh, tom cruise themed cruise. enemies that were like you know muscular blonde uh, shirtless dudes or I, I guess that'd be val kilmer but he's even my point yeah uh oh shit uh oh oh god damn look at these little things they're annoying as hell yeah they're killing you Die, assholes. Alright, let's get out of here. So I finished the mission, now I just have to get the fuck out of here. Did you kill that chick? I did. I got her with some grenades. Oh, I should see if she dropped anything good. The bosses usually drop good items, you know? Yeah. Oh, and there's a treasure chest behind her. Commonality. So, the game, it also does a really good job encouraging you to explore. Like, there's always hidden treasure chests if you just kind of look around that next corner. It's, it's not like... Um, doesn't really tease you, I guess. And like stabbing rifle. Yeah, well, mine's got a, a nice bayonet oh, on the bottom nice. of it too. I didn't even notice so that. That does do more damage. Yeah. It's not just cosmetic. Hmm, what's in here? 
the rat me. I don't think I want to start a new area. Probably not. Especially things like that. Especially like a new area called the maze. <laughs> right. And I bet that a quest is going to take me there at some point. Yeah. So save my time. So you get like money for finishing the quest? Yep, you get you usually get money and an item. Did so uh, you might have seen the the purple item that I got before, or the purple kind of brick, mm. glowing brick. That's called iridium. That's like the special currency they use to uh, upgrade how much ammo you can hold, or how like the size of your stash and how many items you can carry. Said it's dead, baby. Zed's dead. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so let's go talk to Cletus. The slack jawed yokel. So yeah, I got 700 bucks, some experience, and a custom skin. Cool. And also what second base is. <laughs> So let's look at that skin that I just got rewarded. So the skins are kind of weird. You have to use them in the inventory. So that's the reptilian skin. And then you have to go to the skin changing station, <laughs> the flensing station, where Woodhouse is there with the flensing knife. Um. What? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that an archer thing? Like oh, the, 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 like, Woodhouse. Woodhouse. What did I say? Woodhouse. Oh, I, okay. I said the right thing. Just didn't know what you were talking about. Mm. What's the... Uh, so let's take a look at what I... What's that yellow bird in Snoopy? Woodhouse. Woodstock. Woodstock. Yeah. Woodstock? Woodstock. Yeah. <laughs> so um, there's a decent amount of customization, and I actually like... I really like how the customization system is done. There's ba there's two things you can customize, and you find lots Look of that face. customized things that you can change. Like Triceratops. Game. Yeah. Um, so you can change the head, and you can change the color of the suit. Oh, I like the blast shield. That uh, go to that long face. No, the other long one. This one. Uh, go up. This one looks like a Tron. Up. Yeah, that oh. one looks like... Um, oh, what's that game? Haze? No, I was going to say it looks like... It, it uh, was like a yellow face with like a cracked eye on the The cover. Valerians. Oh, yep, that too. He looks like a Valerian with a mask on. That's... Um, Morden's a Valerian, right? Yes. Okay. Just i got to get yeah. my terms right, because, you know, everyone's... Mm -hmm. Everyone's a... Uh, Everyone's an expert. An expert. Um, <laughs> so instead of having like a fully customized thing where you can choose all the different colors, mm -hmm. which I think is slow and dumb, they have a bunch of preset things with clever names. So like the Why So Serious one looks like Joker because it's got bright green and purple. Uh, the one I just unlocked, Reptilian, looks kind of similar. Like a reptile. Like a reptile. Better red. Better dead than red. Zero sneaking suit. That's the default one. You like the white one that like the transition between the suits. Yeah, that I actually sweet. really like too. I wish that was a suit like all white. Like the art. We call it Arctic. Arctic. I'm as cool as ice. That's what that one should be. Emotional distance. Battle toad. I'll do the battle toad. Uh, and this is also where you can reset your skill points if you want to at a minimal cost. So that's nice. Um. Uh, you want to do one more quest before we call it's it? It's up to you. How yeah, long are we? One more. Uh, uh, I don't know. Actually, I can't tell. Okay. Uh, well, let's, yeah, let's do one more quest. Okay. Uh, I'm going to sell the items that I got from the last mission, because that's just kind of like a maintenance thing, like any good RPG. God. Sell your shit. Yep, you got to sell your shit that you don't want to use. Oh, picked that's up, the good rocket launcher. I picked don't up 12 carrots on that mission. I better sell mm -hmm. those for... Um, Five thousand dollars wheels. <laughs> I've got uh, two tickets to Paris. A bottle of wine. <laughs> um, some void salts. Void salt. <laughs> void salts. <laughs> yep. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Mm, I'm gonna keep. 
I don't have a good SMG, do I? Uh, I got ten, I ten dragger swords. Dragger swords, or whatever those guys are called. Dragger, no. Draugr. You know uh, what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I do. Um, no armor though, because the armor is too heavy, and that takes mm -hmm. up. It's too hard to carry around in the inventory. I got some books to sell. Some books. You, you're not gonna put those on your bookshelf. Some, some Nord Ooh, that's a leather good armor. But I can't use it yet. Level twenty-two. I think I'm pretty close to that. Whoa, two thousand capacity. That's huge. That's capacity. Uh, the amount of shield. So I'm mm. I'm looking at the shield upgrades right now, but I can't use either one of those yet. Um, reduces max health. So this one chance to drop a shield booster when damaged. That's kind of cool. So I have a two point five chance percent chance to regenerate shield when I get hit. But this one's double the capacity. I'm gonna wait on that one. Okay. So I have completed that mission. And you know, like you know, it shows progress updates, just like uh, Gears of War. Mm -hmm. You know, like oh, you're halfway like to towards an achievement. Yeah, or um, actually the badass ranks. Oh, just those. Uh, let's see. What quest should I do now? I don't want to. Let's do a different area. Well, you know better than me. Hmm. Would you see a name that you like? Swallowed Hole. Oh, that's right. It yeah, was you. Just the, the Iceman Cometh. I like that name. Or oh, I also like Mighty Morphin as a name. Oh, this is gonna be a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers level. Sweet. The Iceman Cometh. What is that a reference to? That's something. The Iceman Cometh. The Nightman Cometh. But that's got to be a reference oh, yeah. to something, too. I don't know if it's actually a reference. Like, I, I'll, I'll have to do the mission. Uh, there, there was a mission that was like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mission where I had to kill four turtle-looking dudes. That they're, they're, They weren't Ninja Turtles. They were, like, dudes in turtle suits. And they kind of mm -hmm. looked like turtles. And they all had the names of the different Ninja Turtles. And then, the, like, there was a secret hidden boss, actually, that I found that was uh, Splinter. And I got, like, a big bonus for finding him. It was kind of cool. Alright, Mighty Morphin. The Night Man Cometh, the Tax Man Cometh, the Gas Man Cometh. I, yeah, I think it's like so... I, yeah, I have no idea. Pick up mutated Varkid samples. Alright, let's do it. Where are they going to be? I don't know what I'm looking for right now. Oh, I'm really close to level 22. Which uh, mission did you decide upon? Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I never liked that show. I always thought it was oh, really, yeah, stupid. really stupid. But it was... We were at an age where some of our friends liked it. Did you know anybody that liked it? Ooh, what's in here? Uh, oh, younger than cool. us. Oh, so this is like... This is one of these little things that I really like about this game, actually. So, I can't get in here... So what I have to do is I have to follow the power cable, uh, which I actually can't do. So this area might actually be blocked off. So there are some areas where um, there'll be an electrical barrier that's blocking off a door, and then you'll see like one solitary power cable running along the ceiling, kind of mm -hmm. inconspicuous. And if you follow it around, you'll find a fuse box or a switch or something that you can turn, and then you go back, and uh, there's a good treasure chest in there. So it, it really encourages you to keep your head on a swivel. There's lots of very easily missable things in this game, which I like because I spend a lot of time looking around in games. Well, that might just be me. I really want to know if what that comma thing is from, but I, after two seconds of Google, I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> so you gave up right away. And yeah. It's amazing how Google has absolutely killed anybody's... Uh, um, ability to research. Well, no, doesn't because, show up no I would keep looking if we weren't doing oh, this. Oh, okay. So I don't know what I'm looking for yet. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I. Hmm. Force them to morph and then inject them with a special semen so he could study their oh, morphing their abilities. abilities. After stuffing them with semen, then. They should grow. Oh, okay. So these an these guys, if you don't kill them fast enough, they st start to. Oh, I gotta turn off my 
So this mission I'm way too high of a level for, so I'm not going to get that good of a reward for it. Mm. Um, and I have... Oh, okay. They're growing. That's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, they grow. Oh, did I do that right? What stage am I supposed to kill them? I think the pod stage. My favorite adult pod stage. Oh, what the hell? Pick up mutated Vorkid samples. Yeah. I don't know. When am I supposed to kill him? Maybe I should read it and quit just scanning. For uh, some, there cocoons a special serum so you can study them. Ponsing the horrific. When the Vorkid actually morph, however, Hamlock found himself disgusted at the process and asked you to kill as many of the morphing buggers as possible. Morphing buggers as possible. Also, like you to bring him some samples of the mutated Vorkid corpses. So am I supposed to kill them when they're in the pod I don't stage? Know, man. Pick up mutated Vorkid samples. This is weird. Or Vorkid. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. If only there was a website that had guides for this kind of thing. Hmm. Well, let's do a different mission. Really? One that's actually a... Uh... Yeah, why not? I don't know. Rockaholics Anonymous? Oh, there we go. Pick up kegs of beer. Okay, there we go. Got is that go. what beer is called? Rack a hall? No, uh, I think this is going to be like, uh, uh, what's that show that got remade into a movie with like uh, Jessica Simpson and the dude from American Pie, Stifler, uh, and, and uh, John, Johnny uh, Jackass, what's his name? Johnny Knoxville. Knoxville. Do you know what I'm talking about that movie? It's like, it's a remake of an old TV show and they drive around like an old piece Dukes of shit of Chevy. Hazard. Dukes of Hazard. I think this is going to be a Dukes of Hazard mission. Okay. But I could be completely wrong. Because I remember when I picked up this quest, he said something about liquor running. Mm. And uh, Daisy Dukes. Probably. And there's a character called, I'm pretty sure her name is Daisy. She's this enormously fat chick. Mm. Like, so she doesn't wear Daisy fat. Dukes. Mm, she may still wear Daisy Dukes. I can't remember. I don't remember looking at her ass. All right, let's do the mission. It's a nice fast travel system. It is. I wish it was just anywhere. Thanks or Ellie, that's her name. And she wears overalls. Um, <laughs> that was way off. Yeah, not Daisy, doesn't wear Daisy Dukes. Ellie Daisy? That's easy to confuse. Oh, yeah, showing off the vehicles. Yeah, okay. That's a good thing to look at. So uh, there's two different Warthogs. classes of vehicles. Uh, the Bandit Technical, it's like a four-player co-op vehicle, because everybody can get in there, but there's only one turret seat, so it's kind of lame. I still like doing these. These are good, because... Uh, uh, whoops. Because uh, you can have one person driving and one person in the turret seat. And like if you have four people in the game... You two of them? Yeah, you can have two of them running around. And there's like there's two different... Um, uh, so the turret on this is like a machine gun. You can also choose a, kind of a grenade launcher type of one. Fuck you, buddy. Is this a random guy you're trying to kill? Yeah. It's a lot of fun, actually. The car combat. It's much easier to control on the Xbox. It took me a while to get down the... Uh, to control to, like to a really, warthog? Uh, much tighter controls, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, so this is where the Danger Zone mission was. Oh, so I've got a... I'm chasing the keg of beer. Moonshine. There we go. I gotta take this guy out. It's green though. Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. All right. Let's read the mission. What guy wants to get superbly drunk? <laughs> he has quite. He has quite simply asked so you get him enough booze to knock out a rack hive. You can steal some rack ale from the booze runners in the dust. So. How do I do that? He's green. Oh no. Oh, he dropped one. Oh! I think I just have to knock him. And then I drive over it and it picks it up. Okay. Let's turbo boost back into it. Where did he go? Oh no. Isn't he that diamond? Yeah. I. They're not really like clear cut roads. Because oh. where we're going, we don't need roads. Uh huh. Uh huh. I wasn't sure if he went left or right. There he is. Get back here, motherfucker. Oh, really? Just did a 180 for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I like...
caught on something in the environment. Well, it's a good thing this guy isn't actually delivering anything, only driving around in circles very conveniently for me. So, uh, what other questions do you have about this game? Are you interested in it? Oh, I, just, I have to shoot him off the top. Minus my obligation to play a hundred other games? Yeah, I yes. mean, like... Oh, so... I'll, Oh. So a lot of quests have um, different choices for who you can oh, no. uh, for who you can return what you collected. Mm -hmm. So like this one, Moxie, the hot chick that was on the pizza box. Mm -hmm. uh, she's gonna give me uh, a different reward than if I return it to the guy who originally requested it. Oh, they're like arguing yeah. over your loot. Mm -hmm. And um, like the very first one of that, it's a like second or third mission in the game. Uh, it's like, oh, you can get a shotgun by returning it to this guy, or you can get a sniper rifle by returning it to this guy. And uh, so, so does it say what you get? A ruby? I'll give you. I don't know what, what? ruby is. That thirteen-year-old. Oh, oh my God! So I have to go to her, right, to find out what Ruby is. <laughs> well, you gotta find out. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes. yeah, I'd much rather do favors for the hot chick than the alcoholic dude, anyway. <laughs> do you realize what that implies in your real life? Oh, I know exactly what I just said. <laughs> People I, I rather think everybody do knows that. favors for hot chicks than you. Yeah, yeah. I'm totally. I I know that. <laughs> this isn't uh, a revelation. Uh, let's go to Moxie. Mm. Hmm. Oh, this is great too. So, I'll check out Moxie's bar. Triple X Moxie with mm -hmm. three X. She's got a tip jar. Insert your tip. Uh huh. <laughs> so let's give her. Why don't more tip jars say that? Uh, they should. So she gave me a pistol. Sir Feet Ruby. Whenever I'm caught between two evils, I take the one I've never tried. So this is a pretty good pistol. Uh, deals extra damage. It's like a fire pistol. Oh, so that's one other thing I should talk about really quickly uh, before we're done. It's like a lot of the different guns have like elemental effects on them. So this one uh, it has 34% chance to shock. So when I shoot somebody, small chance that it's going to deal extra le extra electricity damage, and that's more effective against um, people with shields. Mm -hmm. And then there's some, like that pistol that I just got, that are effective against flesh. And then there's like an acid shooting gun that's effective against robots. Kind of like uh, Mass Effect. Mm -hmm. It's very much like Mass Effect. Like shields way. versus mm -hmm. armor versus... Except this is a really good first person shooter in really good combat, unlike Mass Effect. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not as linear of a story as Mass Effect, but... Yeah. Anyway, I'm loving this game. I've been playing the hell out of it. And I'm gonna keep playing the hell out of it. I'm hooked. Looks good. Yeah, it looks, looks fun. It's it looks amazing. Looks hilarious. I mean, just a oh, few. It's really funny. It's really funny. And few nine, things I've heard have been good. There are a couple moments uh, that are very dick tits. Oh, so I was kind of like, eh, okay. Um, but bullet overall, storm. Bullet. Yep. Yeah, but the bullet storm. But overall, like there are a lot of moments that I just that just killed me, and I was laughing really hard. That's but impressive. They, it is impressive. There's not a lot of games that have a uh, really I, good sense of humor. The only thing that comes to mind recently, mm -hmm. uh, Uncharted. Yeah, Uncharted is witty. I yeah. would say this is silly. Okay, but you're right. You're absolutely right. Good like, writing, good acting, mm -hmm. excellent funny. voice acting. It's like yeah. you know, it's like The Simpsons or something, where there's like these over the top side characters like the yeah. bumblebee man you know just like hi hi dios mio yeah. and, you know just you know, like senior Cletus. ding dong <laughs> senior ding dong yeah, exactly. so anyway uh, thanks for watching thumbs up big thumbs up for me um, if you want to play co-op I'm on steam beer underscore baron I'll include that in the link we got the steam wiki game guides group too and there's a ton of people from our site playing this game right now cool and uh, be sure to subscribe to the first impression or first impressions premature evaluation show it uh, helps us out a lot for doing more videos like this alright game on game on